All right, this is going to be a fun one to talk about. We got the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Hard to believe how easy the Kansas City Chiefs schedule is going forward. I mean, there's a chance they just go 16-0, and 0, guys. Like, no, no uh, hyperbole there. So playing the Raiders, this, I feel like there's a mistake in the Vegas line right now. The over-under is 65. I don't, I don't understand how that's even remotely a thing. And it's probably going to get adjusted, but as it stands right now, that is insane. Hammer the under. I do like the Chiefs a lot. They're going to put up a lot of points, but there's no way this, if this game goes over 65 points, I, I don't know, like someone comment what you want me to do. Like, you want me to douse myself in water? You want me to chug a gallon of milk? I don't know. There's no way this game is going over 65. So if you want to make some money, uh, bet the under on that. But my guess is they'll get this adjusted. It may have already done so. Uh, in terms of the spread, the Chiefs are favored to win this by 13. I like that. Raiders are giving up the most fantasy points to running backs. They're even worse than the Panthers. So this is going to be a great game to start Clyde Edwards Hilaire. If you've been disappointed, I don't know why. He's still been pretty solid, even though he hasn't blown up yet. This could be his 40 point game. Uh, the Raiders have been decent everywhere else. It's slowing down quarterback, receiver, tight end, but we saw they couldn't do anything to stop Josh Allen last week. So there's no way they're going to do anything to stop Patrick Mahomes this week. The Chiefs defense has actually been really good. Uh, they've been average against running backs, but great everywhere else. They're the best team at slowing down opponent, opposing receivers. So going to be really hard to trust many uh, players on the Raiders side here. Again, ex especially because we're not expecting this to be as competitive as Vegas seems to think it will be. Uh, on the Raiders side, we're starting Jacobs and Waller. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I, I'm not starting Derek Carr. You could talk me into Hunter Renfro if you're in a, in a desperate spot or you have a deeper league. I uh, see enough targets there to at least be a decent spot in a PPR league. Henry Ruggs looks like he might be back this week, but I don't really know that you can trust him coming off of that injury. Uh, not playing Nelson Aguilar, even though he keeps scoring touchdowns, that is a difficult thing to predict. And without that, he would be completely useless in terms of fantasy production. Uh, Zay Jones, Jason Witten, Foster Moreau, we're just not going to play him against the Chiefs here. Uh, the Chiefs were able to really really slow down a lot of the teams that they played thus far. We saw them completely shut the, the Ravens offense down. So can the Raiders do better than the Ravens? I, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, okay. So let's look at the Chiefs side. <laughs> this is pretty easy. Of course, you're starting Mahomes. You're starting Clyde Edwards. Hilaire, you're starting Hill, Kelsey, and the Chiefs defense in this one. Watkins and Hardman become the only real interesting names here because Hardman has scored two weeks in a row. Watkins has been involved, but he hasn't been that good. Both of them are decent flex starts if you need to, if you're in a deeper league or you're just devastated by injuries or bye weeks or both uh, more COVID games happen, but they're not guys I'm trying to force in my lineup. They're just not seeing consistent consistent enough work. We had those random shenanigans where guys like Anthony Sherman scores a touchdown. So both of these guys could dud you at any point. I feel like Watkins has the safer floor, whereas Hardman has the higher ceiling. So take that uh, as you will. But I think the Chiefs will win this one pretty easily. Again, way under the 65 point over under, but the Chiefs would win this one 27 to the Raiders 13.